Uh, thank you very much um, and good morning um, media and I want to thank you for coming um, we are here because of the scam of uh, uh, vehicles that are coming from um, inside the country into Zambezi region that is the reason where we are here Brief us exactly about this incident. What happened in this particular incident? So, this incident that brings us here this morning is a discovery and a detection of um, a scam in which the two tractors that are here was ordered from Ochuarongo. Uh, at the truck dealers from Oshuarongo and it was ordered to be delivered here in Zambezi region um, to be specific um, at the AMTA. Almost a success, successful scam uh, that went to Hoffman tractor in Oshuarongo where these uh, two John Deere tractors were acquired through a scam that it will be delivered in Katima Muriro Amta. All documents were prepared like it's like if yeah like if it is a really ordered and, and sealed deal to purchase these two tractors. Upon arrival yesterday, and the owner prepared to come to Katima, and upon arrival yesterday in Katima Muriro uh, at Amta, they, they could not uh, establish really as to whether this tractor was, was really ordered by Amta. All what they met are uh, two gentlemen who um, portray themselves as the, the, the employee of Amta, and they were ready to receive these tractors. These two gentlemen, they, they call themselves once Mata, and the other gentleman who was not having a name upon requested by the, 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 the driver, the two drivers and the, the escort who brought these uh, tractors upon request to produce their identity card the man who call himself Smata provide a different ID, provide a different ID which have got a different name. So this is the, the situation that made the, the tractor drivers or the truck drivers, the two truck drivers and escort who brought these uh, tractors to, to be suspicious of whether the, the, the order is going to be delivered to the right person so that is what happened yesterday and thereafter the two driver and the escort they make an effort to conduct the police the police step in immediately and when they arrived today these two suspects they disappeared so last night to this morning and to these hours, we are, we, are, we are busy now trying to see how best we can uh, track out uh, these two suspects in the help of the drivers and the, the escort. Um, but last night we could not succeed. We will continue again this morning to see whether we can able to uh, get hold of these two suspects. Maybe what question would you give a uh, commissioner? Because it appears this scam of cars has become a norm in recent times. So maybe what word of caution would you give to people who are involved in making these transactions and so on in the public, in the public uh, in general? Before the caution, I would like to indicate here that um, as for now in this region, this year 2024, we have got... Um, uh, about uh, five scams, five scams that went through this region in 2024. Number one was on July 2024, whereby a single cap 
a single a Toyota single cap belong to one John Van Fieren was stolen by his employee here in Katima Muriro and it was driven to Zambia. This vehicle was intercepted in Zambia as we are speaking according to Interpol information and the, the process of investigation is on. That is number one. Number two, it was not yet recovered. It, it was not. It's not yet recovered. Back to Namibia, but it's intercepted in Zambia. As we are speaking, the process of investigation is on to see how best it can be brought back to Namibia. Number two, in July again, the same year this year, there has been a, a double cap that was uh, landed from. Uh, Mr. Kuomboka, Karendao. This double cap was landed by a South African national female who did not return it up to date. And information received through our sources is that this car is also heading into Zambia. And this suspect, the suspected Zambian female also went to Zambia and as we are speaking, he is no longer in Zambia, he fly back to South Africa. We are having a pending Interpol approval for the joint investigation between Namibia and the Zambia police. So we already um, asked the request for us to conduct a joint investigation with them on this case. We are just waiting for the Zambian authority to... Uh, respond in this regard so that the, a joint investigation can be conducted. Again, uh, this year, uh, August this year, there has been two Isuzu double cap that was scammed from um, Winduk at Awas Delta. In the same way, like this, the two T tractor was 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 scammed. A deal was sealed in Windu Hours Delta for the two Isuzu double cap to be purchased and delivered to Katima Muriro Nam Power. Mm. Upon arrival, though the, the deal was done, and then the vehicle was was sent from Windu. They arrived here in Katima. Upon arrival in Katima, Murilo here, those Isuzu were received by a suspected uh, scammer criminal and they were vanished from Katima, Murilo town here, suspected to be heading to Zambia. This case still pending, investigation in this case still pending, we put on a request with uh, Zambia Interpol so that we can conduct a joint investigation again in this issue and we are still waiting for the response from the Zambian authority for possible joint investigation in this case. So these two Isuzu, they are gone. They are nowhere to be found and we suspect that they are heading to Zambia. Another case we have got the information that we received yesterday, again, just before the, intercepted, the interception of this, uh, this T tractor, we received the information from Blue Car Redal, um, a South African company, that um, there was a lady who is also a South African lady in June, uh, who this lady asked or landed a vehicle and when she landed a vehicle which is also a fortune uh, the type of the vehicle is a fortune uh, toyota landed by the lady who is suspected to be a south african national from the blue car rental a, a, a south african company the last tracing that was done through the the tracing device that is in that vehicle is showing that that vehicle is in Rusaka. 
So that is the information that we get. And now the tracing device is, 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 is dormant. It's not working anymore. So, but the last tracing was showing that that vehicle is in the Rusaka. But that company is based in Namibia. The company is based in Namibia. Um, um, is operating from Namibia and South Africa as well. Yeah. Now, this the, this is all what happened in the, in this year and the last the last incident is this one which bring, bring us here, in which God help us to get all or to get these two um, T tractor before it it is also uh, vanishing from Namibia. Similar cases also happening last year. Uh, or, no, uh, uh, in the past, similar incident happening in the past. Uh, in 2022, there was a, a one case in which a suspected uh, a Zambian, one Zambian and the one South African, one Zambian male and one South African female involved. In 2022, a Toyota uh, Hilux single cap was intercepted here at our uh, border post. Um, uh, Katima Murillo border post and these people they were arrested uh, handed over to the, the vehicle was handed over to South African police and, and the suspect were arrested while we are uh, trying to sort out whether the car was uh, stolen or not because it was a rented vehicle which just intercepted it to the border on the way to Zambia this criminal they managed to escape from where they were um, lodging waiting for south african police to arrive and uh, we only left with the passport because we detained the passport but the two people they they managed to to escape from where they were lodging waiting for south african police to come so that we can conduct a, um, a joint investigation 2010 there was also a, a Masset benz um, sadan Masset benz which was rendered from south africa by a south african national who is a, a, a male and this man was arrested here with, with that Masset. He wanted also to go to Zambia and he was uh, transferred to Winduk because he was having another case of uh, uh, theft of motor vehicle in Winduk. And this person, as we are speaking, he ran away from custody in Winduk. That was 2010. So these are just two similar cases um, that we recorded. On my caution to the to the public, I would like to say this. Please, please. I would like the people who are dealing on vehicle, the, the car dealers, the people who are selling vehicles, to make sure that they should to confirm. They should have a critical, they should do a critical confirmation as to whether really this vehicle are going to the a genuine purchaser otherwise the, the the people who are who are purchasing this vehicle are pretending and they are using the government institution and those company big companies that really you can't argue that they can able to purchase such such a vehicle this classic example for amta amta is dealing with agriculture it is obvious that if a person come to uh, Hoffman uh, a company where they are selling John Deere with the proper document sealed and placed that AMTA would like to purchase the tractors, there will be no argument. So as a such, the car dealer might release or the, 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 the dealer might release this purchase thinking that the people would like to have them delivered before they, 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 they pay. So this, this is really a caution to the community and all these people in, 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 in car selling business to make sure that they really confirm the bank details and everything that have to be confirmed that they are really dealing with the genuine person. So we do not know how these people get all this documentation out of the website or out of the offices of these individual companies and, 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 and prostitutes. For example, Nampawa. The Nampawa document where the really document that Nampawa used to, to use when he's passaging. 
his vehicle elsewhere. So it look like, although it's not, it's, it, when you look at it, it's a really document that one can agree that the, 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 the manager of a company can release this consignment of this purchased vehicle. So this is the situation where I really want to caution the people to make sure, to double check. If it is possible, they can even call, call the police, then ask the police to do the confirmation on their behalf, so that we can see that, or they can, we, can, we can confirm together that these vehicles or these items that they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are delivering or they are about to be delivered is really coming from the genuine uh, 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 person who want to purchase this item number two is to the car car rental car rental companies i would like to appear to car rental companies in namibia and also in south africa to be careful when they are released they are, they are giving their vehicle when they are lending their vehicle to the people who indicate that they will travel to katima murillo and they probably they will also cross into zambia because we, we have got a, an in-length investigation that we are conducting that this vehicle, although probably going to Zambia as a territory or as a country, it might be that they are also going through Zambia to another country. So if they have got a vehicle that they are renting from their car rental uh, 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 business or car rental companies, they should really make sure that they caution those people who are, who are renting those vehicles. They also have to look at them. They can share that information with the police here so that we can also look at it whether these are the genuine people. Because from the study that we do, we can see that the people who purchase the two double cap Isuzu for Nam Power as they pretend, and those who purchase these, these two uh, tractors, they are likely to be the same. They are likely to be the same people. And they have access to documents that they can make use of it to pretend really that these documents are coming from an authentic, authentic, authentic company or authentic purchasers. So we really appeal to them to make sure that they, they, they take cautions when they are making decisions to deliver items that are purchased especially those who are coming to this site of, 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 of uh, Katima Muriro or Zambezi region. We also would like to, uh, to, to, to caution a suspicion that we are looking at. We want to caution the insurance company to make sure that they really asking questions, interrogative questions when the people are having vehicles that they are rendered and they are taken to Zambia. It could be that some of the owners of vehicles, they are using some of, or they are together with some of the, the, the criminal so that they can get insurance out of their vehicle that has been stolen. So this is one of the, the, the suspicious also the police looking at, that probably there could be some of the people who are probably using this uh, uh, opportunity to pretend that the, the vehicle was stolen so that they can get an, an, an insurance out of the out of those uh, uh, cases so we really want to, to caution them that if that is the case that we will find out that that is what what is happening then it will be a problem we are busy now investigation investigating to see whether that element of, of, of criminal is also exist so finally i just want to thank the my team, the Namibian police in Zambez region, I would like also to thank some community who contributed to, to giving information or, or, on this, on this uh, scam. So I really want to thank them. I want also to thank the media in our region to be with us so that we can disseminate this information to reach to the intended people and also to alert the people to know that the, there is this trend there is this scam that is going on and the, the, the destination is Zambezi region to which they can able to exit from Zambezi region to nearby uh, country and to be specific through Zambia.
So this is the only information that I wanted to give on these specific uh, uh, cases. And uh, I think we will cooperate. And uh, if we continue cooperate like this, I think we will make sure that we stop this uh, the type of criminal that just developing.